Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red and this is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Today we're going to take a quick look and unbox the Moto G Stylus 5G 22. Brand new and available at Cricut Wireless. So, stay here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Drop a comment if you have any questions. And as always, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get all the notifications for the new videos. <music> All right, so in today's video, we're gonna take a quick look and unbox the G-Stylus 5G 2022, but we're not gonna to go too far deep into the specs. They will be at the end of this video, and this video is sponsored by the Programmer Coach. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this phone. For pricing and availability, please contact your local Cricut Wireless authorized retailer. Okay, here we have the Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. A 5G Android smartphone with built-in stylus, 5G speeds, and powerful processing. Up to two days of battery life, 6.8 inch Max Vision FHD Plus display, 50 megapixel main camera with OIS. Okay, let's pop it out of the box and see what it's all about. All right, inside you've got the device. It's got a nice weighty feel. Your Cricut SIM card. Volume one of stuff people don't read. Your SIM card, your SIM key. Volume two of stuff people don't read. A, it appears to be a 10 watt power block and your cord which is USB to type C. Put that back together. All right. Inside we've got your stylus and you don't have to put it in a certain way. Pop it in, make sure it clicks. There you go, clicks into place. On the bottom, your stylus, single bottom firing speaker, your main microphone, Type-C charging port, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the side, your SIM slot. On the other side, Power and body, your volume rocker, and your fingerprint scanner and power key. On the back, this is a nice color, you have your triple camera system, nice peel shaped dock. I like the new camera dock, it's nice and smooth, very curvy. This is your fixed 50 megapixel camera setup, and no Cricut tramp stamp. On the front, you're gonna have a center mounted front camera. And at the top, tucked in nice and neat, is your speaker. And at the top, your noise canceling microphone. Let's power it up, see what it's all about. Let's take a look at the G Stylus 5G. Got it all set up and ready to go. Gonna prop it up with my Pixel. Here we go. We're gonna take a quick tour of the settings. You'll see, and you'll notice, right off the bat, the Android 12 icons are different. There is a tutorial here on the channel for adjusting those for customization. Network and internet, um, connected devices. You will see here that NFC is true here this is an nfc capable device you can connect your chromebook nearby share and android auto is available here app list there are some pre-installed apps and to remove those now this did bring in some backups of mine so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you what to turn off chrome notifications absolutely turn those off because those can be kind of problematic and then we're going to scroll down here to 
see if it's in here. I don't see it. It's called Discover Bar. And I don't see it in this one. Maybe they left it out of this one. The next one we're going to look for, that little demon, Mobile Services. Turn off the notifications first and then disable the app. Yes, you do want to follow those steps. And then you're going to come down here to the scoop and disable that little demon. Do that with every Cricut device and your phone will work so much better. Next, you've got your notifications here. You're going to notice they're going to be in a different place than they were with Androids 10 and 11. Your, um, previously, your notification menu was in with your app list. It's not there anymore. You can either go into the app list, change it directly from the app, or from here. Here you got app settings, notification history, show recent and snoozed, um, bubbles. I don't like the bubbles, but you can um, use chat heads, basically, with certain conversations if you want to keep up with those and just have access on your screen from people that you text most often. But there you go. You can see, really, there's not a huge difference between Androids 10 and 11 and Android 12, but there are some differences. And there is another tutorial here on the channel for Android 12, a couple of them actually. So there you go. That is a very quick look. Now let's take a look at the stylus and what all you can do with that. Stylus writing right directly into text boxes. Like if you are uh, filling something out, if you're doing a, a digital signature, you can use your stylus to write directly into that text box. You can use um, Google Keep Notes or any other notepad and use your stylus to write into that. You can, uh, when the device is locked, open Moto Note. If your device is locked, let me demonstrate. Screens off, Moto Note will activate. Just like that. Give it permission, hi. Just like that, see? Just by pulling out the stylus. So that allows you to take a quick note without actually having to turn on your phone. Moving right down the list, when the device is unlocked, show, write a note, screenshot, editor, coloring book, cinema graph. Like if you are going to, let's say, repost something you saw in Twitter, but you don't want to... Um, identify someone you can use your pen to um, X out their name to hide their name um, if you have taken a picture of a car and you want to hide the license plate you can use the note to color over the license plate stylus out of case get a reminder when the stylus is out now I like that these you can switch it on because a lot of people lose their stylus and without the ability to switch this off that just kind of hangs around up there but if you can switch it off, it's not as much of a nuisance if you lose your stylus. And when you're playing a game or doing something else with your stylus, if you've got this little notification hanging around up there that says, hey, the stylus is out, then guess what? It's there. It's annoying. Vibrate when the stylus is inserted. That way you know it's all the way in there. Stylus tips. Get to know the stylus. You know, go through this so you know what all you can do with it. Uh, check for system updates here and let's check some specs about phone and then we're going to go to hardware information we've got four gigs of ram 128 gigs of storage 2460 by 1080 display 16 megapixel front camera the rear is a 50 by 2 by 8 megapixel and it is nfc enabled android version 12 the camera. We're not going to go too in depth with the camera. I am putting together a little sample for you for the spec screen. Um, I was able to get just a little bit of footage. You will have seen it at the front end of this video. The lovely nature trees and you will see it in the spec screen as well. Um, that's my backyard. Maybe you'll see some dogs. That would be Flicka the crackhead dog. So your camera features, 
we're going to go back to the beginning. You've got slow motion, video, photo, portrait, promo is available, more. And there are your other settings cut out, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panorama, group selfie, ultra res, and dual capture for video mode, time lapse, spot color, and dual capture. And just for the sake of keeping this video short and sweet, we're not going to go super deep, but I will include a little video. There's a video Easter egg, like I said, the green screen at the beginning of this video and the spec screen are shot with this phone. That's short, that's sweet. Let's open a few apps. Some stuff's surely downloaded by now. Everything is going to be in subfolders. A lot of people get real confused by this. You can open up the Motorola app. And that will actually help you learn how to use your phone and all of its features a little better. So don't be afraid to take a tour through the Motorola app. See what Moto can do. Just go through there. And it'll help you learn how to use the different features of your phone. Now let's open something pretty standard calculator. See how fast it opens. Bam! There it is. Okay. Now let's open the clock zippy quick just like that and let's go to Dolby Atmos as we saw with the G5G that one's also in here it's a glorified equalizer and there's the Google launcher this is the Cricut partner tab you can also disable that in your settings I really don't know why it's there it's sort of falls in the category of pointless there we go There you are. Bam. Pretty darn zippy. But that is your short, sweet look and unboxing of the Motorola G Stylus 2022 5G available at Cricut Wireless. For pricing and availability, please contact your local retailer. You will not find that information in this video. This video is sponsored by The Programmer Coach. Hang around to the very, very end and I will check out what they have to offer. So, without any further ado, let's get to the specs. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more great reviews, unboxing, and tech news weekly. Thank you so much. I'm Lady Red. question for you. Do you like going to work every day, doing what you're doing right now, forever? If not, I'd like to share with you a little about the sponsor of this video, The Programmer Coach. The Programmer Coach is an online coding program that helps people who are serious about earning a higher salary learn how to code and get a job as software developers. The program is unique in that it te they teach you how to code by doing, by practicing, and becoming highly competent in coding. No boring teachers, no watching endless videos, and no boring labs. Just enough knowledge to get started. And then practice, practice, practice. Plus, they provide you with coaches to help you whenever you run into any issues. And at the end of their program, they will work with you until you land a job. That's right, and you won't pay the bulk of your tuition until you actually land a job as a software developer. And the best part, the program is affordable and accessible for anyone and everyone. Sound good? To learn more, go to becomeaprogrammer.com right now. Once again, that's becomeaprogrammer.com.